It's nice to see that Dave Filoni had a huge influence upon the finale of the Book of Boba Fett. The duel between Cad Bane and Boba Fett in Episode 7 was a direct result of what happened in the unfinished episodes of the Clone Wars series. The ones that got away, the ones that we never got to see in canon, and they were never officially confirmed to be canon. They were just released as part of the Clone Wars Legacy project. In those unfinished episodes, we got to see Anakin finally coming clean about how he felt about Ahsoka leaving the Jedi Order to Obi-Wan. That's a very famous scene by now. Weirdly enough, we also got Darth Revan. So if that episode would have aired, maybe by now Darth Revan would have solidified himself as a canon character way back in the day. But one of the most famous scenes from the unfinished episodes, of course, was young Boba Fett versus Cad Bane. The injustice from Cad Bane has put a strain in the relationship between mentor and apprentice, Cad Bane being the mentor, Boba Fett being the apprentice, being taught by one of the fastest guns in the galaxy. All the other bounty hunters give Boba Fett a fair chance. They step back and let the duel happen. This scene would have gone on to explain also in canon how Boba Fett got his dent on his helmet, a dent that we even see up until now in the book of Boba Fett. And in fact, why I say Dave Filoni had a huge influence upon the finale of the Book of Boba Fett is particularly the connection between this unfinished scene and the duel between Cad Bane and Boba in Episode 7 of the Book of Boba Fett. Back then, in the unfinished episodes, they were released in pre format, and it's awesome to hear Corey Burton voicing Cad Bane back then. But young Boba, though, was voiced by none other than Daniel Logan. Years later, a more mature Daniel Logan after he played Boba in Attack of the Clones as a child. The duel between them ends in a stalemate. Basically, they both shoot at the same time. This led to them shooting each other in the head simultaneously, and the ripple effects from this scene in particular particular are being felt years later even now in the book of Boba Fett because not only does it explain Boba Fett's dent on his helmet, it also explains Cad Bane's metal plate on his head. Let's just take a step back. After the Clone War series, and especially after this unfinished scene that saw Cad Bane get it gunned down, nobody really knew the fate of Cad Bane after the Clone Wars. Although we suspected he was alive, nobody really thought he was dead, we didn't know what happened to him until The Bad Batch released in May of 2021. In The Bad Batch series, Cad Bane officially made his comeback after all these years the last time we saw him in the cancelled Clone Wars series. However, in Bad Batch Episode 9, Bounty Lost, we definitely got pleasantly surprised because that episode gave us an indication that the duel between young Boba and Cad Bane did actually happen. So it did hint at that scene actually being canon. In that episode, Cad Bane headbutts Fennec Shan, and when his head is revealed, we see that he has a metal plate on the left side. Later, he also loses his hat after nearly falling to death, which shows the plate even more clearer. What was interesting about this at that time was that Cad Bane did not have this metal plate when he last appeared in the Clone Wars series. So this means that he got it between the last episode he appeared in the Clone Wars and the first time he appears in the Bad Batch. The scene that he duels young Boba, that falls perfectly in line with this metal plate. Here's even more interesting facts that lead to the suggestion that deleted scene is for sure canon. The Book of Boba Fett went out of its way to make references to that particular scene and the surrounding elements. First of all, Cad Bane mentions Boba Fett's father, Jango Fett. This confirms that Cad Bane actually knew Jango, which goes perfectly in line with Cad Bane taking Boba under his wing, knowing that his father is not around anymore, and mentoring him in the process of becoming a bounty hunter. But this does not stop here. We got even more evidence when Boba warns Cad Bane to not toy with him because he's not a little boy any longer. Which definitely confirms that Boba and Cad Bane had a relationship prior to this when Boba was younger. And this Book of Boba Fett scene finalizes with Cad Bane telling Boba Fett that this will be a final lesson. So he's implying that there were earlier lessons that he taught Boba Fett 
which would have been seen in these unfinished episodes if they were ever to air, if of course the Clone Wars were never cancelled. Symbolically, we got some references too, because as you can see here, the orientation has been flipped this time around. In their first showdown, Cad Bane was on the left side of the screen and Boba was on the right. Now they are flipped, suggesting that Boba is not that little kid anymore and he has definitely grown up and is up to par with Cad Bane, if not better. I sure would have hoped Boba would have proved that with his blaster, but nonetheless he proved it by plunging his Tusken staff in Cad Bane's chest. The metal plate could be seen on the live action Cad Bane as well, and for most of the fans, including myself, this is the final piece to the puzzle. This metal plate actually confirms that the scene from unfinished episodes, the duel between Boba and Cad Bane, is definitely canon. Because not only did Boba get a dent on his helmet, Cad Bane had to practically undergo surgery as well, given the fact that their orientation, the way they shot each other, goes perfectly in line. Boba shot him on that side of the head while Cad Bane shot him on the right. After Boba shot Cad Bane down, since his helmet was Beskar, he presumably woke up and simply walked away thinking Bane is dead, while Cad Bane required medical assistance probably and the operation that landed him a metal plate on the left side of his head. So the metal plate, the first time we see it in the Bad Batch, gives us a hint. The elements surrounding the metal plate and a lot of things that are referenced in the Book of Boba Fett duel kind of confirms that, that that scene is definitely canon, but I would love to know what do you guys think as well. Do you have any hopes that that scene is completely canon and will we ever see it in whatever medium, in animation or live action? I would love to see that scene in particular. That has been a legendary scene for so long, the Bad Batch had a chance, an opportunity to show us, but I guess we could see something in Bad Batch Season 2, perhaps a flashback of some sorts. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up down below, subscribe for dailies. Now you can have an awesome day, Star Wars fans. I'll see you in the next video, and may the Force be with you. Until then.